The president said something to the effect of, I'm the effing president, take me up to the Capitol now. The president reached up towards the front of the vehicle to grab at the steering wheel. Mr. Engel grabbed his arm, said, sir, you need to take your hand off the steering wheel. We're going back to the West Wing. We're not going to the Capitol. Mr. Trump then used his free hand to lunge towards Bobby Engel. And Mr. when Mr. Renato had recounted this story to me, he had motioned towards his clavicles. Okay, so that is Cassidy Hutchinson relaying what the Secret Service agent in charge, I believe, his position, Mr. Renato, told her. Um, about, and so it's a story that only Engel and Renato, I think, were present for, theoretically. She was not. She did not see it happen. You were right. Do you have any corroborating evidence? You have interviewed both Renato, or the committee has interviewed both Engel and Renato, two Secret Service agents. Do you have any corroborating evidence that that story is true, or do you only have it from Cassidy Hutchinson? Well, um... The story that she told is the evidence that I'm aware of, at least within Her story our is the only version you know. And I've not seen anything to contradict it. Wrong. What I'm saying is your committee interviewed Tony Amato and, and Stephen Engel, who supposedly told her this story. Uh, but your committee interviewed them. Did you ask about this story? It is a shocking story. We, we, I mean, maybe you didn't know about it at the time. I don't know. I, I was not involved in either of those interviews. <laughs> oh, my God. So I, I can't say, and I don't have any knowledge of that. Uh, I, I will just say um, I'm not aware of anything that contradicts the account that she just gave. But you just got done saying that the story that she told was the evidence that you knew of. And you knew of nothing contradicting it. But that was because you weren't involved in either of those interviews. Right, but you would agree that that story would be stronger if you had corroborating evidence from the individuals who were actually in the presidential limo. Sure, and we're encouraging every material witness who has relevant evidence to come forward but you've already to interviewed, tell us. But you've already interviewed these two. Well, um, you know, anybody is free to, to come back. And again, I've not been involved in um, the questioning of those particular witnesses. The story that she told is the evidence that I'm aware of, at least within Her story our is possession. the only version you know. And I've not seen anything to contradict it. It is just an incredibly damning and dramatic story, uh, I would just as a journalist and as an American appreciate more corroboration for the story since as of now, it is hearsay. All right, folks, that's it for that one. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, share and subscribe. Then leave a comment and let us all know what you think about this whole sham.